So on behalf of Walt Disney and Pixar Animation Studios, welcome to this, uh, the UK premiere of The Incredibles 2. The wait is almost over. Um, I hope you're all very excited to see what Brad Bird and the geniuses at Pixar have done with these incredible characters that are so many fans' favourites. And I think we have Mr. Mo Farah in the room and his family. Thank you guys for all of your support. And this so this movie has already opened in the United States back in June. It opened and became the biggest opening for a film, uh, an animated film in history in the US. Uh, it has already taken a staggering $750 million across the globe and it's got many countries still to yet open. And today, once cinemas start opening across the US, it will actually surpass Finding Dory to become the most successful animated film in history, which is pretty staggering. So you guys are the lucky few here, uh, able to see the film before we actually open next Friday the 13th. That's not a bad opening. But, uh, uh, we all hope that next weekend will be incredible, and if it is, uh, what a great way to uh, start the weekend with the Incredibles and maybe a World Cup final, who knows? Let's bring it up. If you do, if you do love the film, which we're sure you will, please do tell all your friends. But now, it gives me great pleasure to welcome two very special guests today. Um, they've travelled literally thousands of miles to come and be with you and to celebrate the launch of this film. So please give a huge London warm welcome, and boy is it warm, to Samuel L. Jackson, the voice of Frozo, and Holly Hunter, the voice of Rafael. First of all, um, I know you flew in literally. Thanks for coming all of this way uh, to be with here, uh, be with us today. Um, 14 years. Uh, we were just talking about how it's 14 years ago when we did the first Incredibles and slightly different temperatures when we released the movie and turned on the Regent Street Christmas lights. Bo, um, what's it like bringing this character back to the screen 14 years after its original outing? Well, it doesn't feel like way at all. And once you're in the studio with Brad, it just feels like you've been in the studio with him all that time anyway, or it just feels like yesterday. And we were very fortunate to be here. We were only two here for that, too, yeah. to turn on the lights. The only on two great. But um, it's uh, great to be back. Uh, I guess the question in most of the minds of people in my feed online, always asking about the Incredibles, when's it, when's it happening, was, are they afraid they can't make a movie as good as the first one? And you know what? They actually did it and surpassed themselves. So you guys are in for a treat. And Holly, uh, thank you too for making this uh, very long journey. Um, for you, uh, you had a lot of fun playing this role, and I can't wait for everyone to see what what Elastigirl brings to this movie and the family. Uh, Given how her role has, shall we say, stretched a little, can you talk a little bit about how that's been for you? Well, you know, in, in the first movie, uh, Elastigirl was, she loved being a mom. She was just like one of, and so when, when Mr. Incredible was going into that world again, she's like, no. And then in this movie, she's like, yes. <laughs> because she gets to kind of be the, the, the superhero, kind of saving the world, I think that, you know, she almost goes back to adolescence with the enthusiasm, you know, of, of being a, a laughter girl again. Brilliant. And thank you so much. And I, I know not everyone would have seen outside, but um, these guys did an amazing picture just now with St. Just George's flag. Um, can we count on Elastigirl and Frozone support next week for our Incredibles in the, in the, in the, in the semi-final? I nearly said the final. You got my support. I plan to score at least one goal. Semi-finals of what? <laughs> that thing that we're not in, the world broke up. No, no, no. I, mean, I, I, I uh, you know, uh, Harry Maguire is, he's a star overnight. That's incredible. Yeah. 
know where you heard it. Um, but thank you. Look, we won't hold up any further. It has been 14 years, as we keep saying. Um, I'm sure you're really eager to see this film and what it brings. Um, we'll let this audience uh, enjoy the film. But um, say a huge thank you to these guys for coming all this way and, ma and making the time to come here. So thank you. Enjoy. There is um, a short film that will precede the film by uh, some wonderful filmmaking talent from Pixar called Bow, and then we'll be right into The Incredibles 2. Please have a wonderful time.